Hello, Orc Universe. Scott here from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I'm bringing you something that we don't normally do very often, an unboxing video. And what are we unboxing? We are going to be unboxing the iPhone 12 Pro, brought to you by Apple. I ordered mine early, it came early, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this thing up together. But before we get into that, I need you to go down to that subscribe button. I need you to go down and set your reminders to on so you know when our new videos come out and go down and click that like button for us as well because we like you to like us. Before I get into opening this up, I should let you know I have Apple everything. I have an Apple tower, the trash can here that I add all my video on. I have an Apple MacBook and an iPad that I use every Friday when we go live to do our show. I have an iPhone X that I've been using for years now. And even my iPad and my MacBooks are later generations as I've had the generations before as well. Before this tower, I was using a 2008 Mac Pro, which still works and I still use to this day. So I use everything Apple, so I am super excited to get this thing opened up. And now that that's done, let's get into opening this thing up. I've always loved Apple's packaging. It's always been a selling point for them from their computers to their laptops to iPads to their iPhones. Unboxing their devices has always been a beautiful experience. And look how convenient they make it. Nice green arrow here telling you exactly where to start. We'll go ahead and peel this off then. And there's some trash. We'll just go ahead and toss that to the side. And let's open this up. And there we go. As you can see, I went with the silver stainless option. Another screen protector to peel off, so satisfying. The back here is normally made out of glass, although I'm not really sure what kind of material this is. It doesn't feel as strong as the glass on the front here. The glass on the front, of course, the hardened ceramic glass that's supposed to be stronger than anything they've ever made before. And let's go ahead and turn this guy on. The quick start, they can't make any easier. Just put it right next to your old phone, hit start, and everything transfers over right away. I always thought this was a pretty cool feature. Just take a picture of this floaty little globe thingy. And of course, right away from me is gonna be two hours. So let's go ahead and see what else we have in this box here. Right away, we find the little tool here for the SIM card. I have never used one of these things and I will never use this one, so we'll put that to the side. Of course, the Apple sticker, which I've also never put on anything, so we'll put that to the side as well. And the super tiny instructions that you need a magnifying glass to read. Also in the case here is a charge cable, of course. We have to power our phones. The iPhone 12 is still using the lightning port and on the other side here looks like a USB-C. Let's get this thing plugged in to make sure it's on charge. Let's go ahead and plug this guy in. Okay, that's not gonna work. It's okay, I have a charger for my GoPro. That's okay, I have a charger from Amazon. Okay, I have a charger that somebody left over from one of their Samsung phones. All right, here's the deal. This is Apple, just looking to gouge us for a little bit more money. They've been doing it for a long time and it's getting worse and I'm getting tired of it. They're calling it reducing the carbon footprint. No, it's Apple looking to get more money. Look, I've got a ton of USB-A chargers. I've had USB-A chargers for a long time. Everything I use is a USB-A charger. I don't have USB-C chargers. Nobody has USB-C chargers yet. They just started. If you wanna reduce the carbon footprint, that's great, that's fine. But make sure that everyone has USB-C chargers before you go and start taking away from us and making us spend more money that we don't need to be spending. So here we are, and because we have nothing but time left, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this case and screen protector on this brand new phone. Obviously, I do go a little overboard when it comes to making sure the phone is clean before putting a case on. Perhaps it's a little OCD on my end. Now that I spent the last 10 minutes making sure my phone is perfectly clean, we're gonna go ahead and jam this case on here. And it looks like I'm not gonna be able to do this without actually touching the phone. So much for avoiding fingerprints. All right, now that we got our case on here, which was a nice tight fit, 
Let's go ahead and put the screen protector on. And I do not see any instructions, but hey, who needs instructions anyway? Real men don't use instructions. Looks like I have a adapter ring here. Looks like this envelope holds the screen protector itself. And this one, here we have our dust removal sticker, a cleaning wipe, and a rag. All things I already have strong supply of. And apparently, since I have to use this frame here to put on this protector, I will be removing the case that I just struggled to put on my phone, which is just as much of a struggle to remove. And now that I got this big case off, I'm gonna go ahead overboard on cleaning once again. I should probably invest in a clean room. Let's take our plastic installation guide here and this snaps on. And here's our sexy little protector. And it looks like the instructions are actually on it. A big number one, making it obvious what your first step is. Lining this up seems fairly easy. Of course, a notch in the top there lines up with the speaker on top. And then of course, a very satisfying peel of the outer protector. Looks like I was successful in getting most of the air out. Just one tiny bubble that I have to deal with. Hopefully that'll go away in time. Cause if not, that's going to drive me insane. And there we go. Screen protector on top of what's supposed to be the hardest screen that Apple's ever made. I'm not sure, but I feel like this isn't really enhancing the look anymore. I almost feel like this is taken away from the screen. Now that our protector's on, we'll go overboard on cleaning again and reinstall the case once again. And snapping on the second time is just as difficult as snapping it on the first. I do seem to like this case from spec. It looks like that it does protect the screen a little better as well as the cameras. It looks to be a little recessed there. You can still kind of see the stainless steel borders as well as the nice back on it. Not as good as when the phone was blank, but hey, we'd rather protect our $1,300 phone than take a chance to have to repair it. One of the cool things it looks like on this phone is that there is three options when it comes to zoom with quick taps here. On the old phone, you can see that there's just two options, the regular and a zoom, a two time zoom. On the iPhone 12 Pro, there's the regular zoom, there's a zoom in, and then there's a zoom out, the wide lens. That's the third lens you have on the back there. It does look to be like a cleaner picture on the zoom in. And on that zoom out, there is a little bit of a fisheye effect. And there's nothing wrong with a little fisheye when you're trying to take a picture of your oversized family. Looks like there's big improvements on the FaceTime camera though. In fact, here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the iPhone 12 and the iPhone X. And if that wasn't enough, the iPhone 12 Pro says it now has 4K recording on the FaceTime camera there. The iPhone X does not support that. So you be the judge. Which phone would you rather use when you're doing that sexy FaceTime late at night with that sweetie of yours? I got a chance to play with the LiDAR scanner a little bit. I used it in the measure app, measured a room around me. It's cool. I don't see myself using that too often. As for the rest of the features, I don't see a huge difference coming from the iPhone X to this. All the apps are the same. Everything behaves the same. The screen, I don't see a huge difference from this to the other one, just the size difference. The real test with this phone is gonna be the camera test, which I'm going to be doing plenty more videos of that comparing this to the iPhone X, as well as comparing this to a Samsung phone and comparing it to the pro camera that you're watching this video on. The nighttime abilities of this camera are supposed to be a lot better. We'll compare that to the iPhone X as well. The quality of the camera in the iPhone 12 Pro is supposed to be that much better. I don't think the iPhone 12 has three cameras on it. I don't think they stepped up with that phone. So that's just a basic phone as far as I know. They say Apple Pro Raw is coming soon. So I can't test that yet either. I still have to wait to test that. And of course, all the MagSafe accessories, which is stuff I'd have to buy. They have a little magnet on the backside here that's supposed to make things easier to charge and attach. We'll play with that later on, I guess. In the end, I decided to take off the screen protector, I thought that it looked better without it. And this is supposed to be the newest, super strong ceramic glass. So you know what? Let's just see if it is, give it some time and see if I can screw this glass up. In the end, I don't see a huge difference between this phone and the iPhone 11 when it comes to everyday use. The audio quality is a little better. Phone calls are a little louder. The speakers are a little louder for listening to music directly from the phone. But as for daily use, I don't see a huge difference in 
than this. If you just need it for a phone, you can stick with your 11. You can stick with your X. If they're still working, save the money. Don't spend it just yet. If you're looking to get the 12, the 12 Pro maybe just for the camera, then hold off. I'll be doing those video tests later to let you know if it is worth it or not. So keep tuned. And the best way to know when those videos are coming out, as well as other Orc U videos are coming out, is to go to ourreviewswillkillyou.com slash links. And that's where you're going to find all our podcasts and video and audio. That way you don't miss out on any of the cool stuff that we put out in the future. What do you think? Did you get an iPhone 12? Do you think it's that much better? Do you think I'm wrong? Let me know. Let us all know down in the comments what you think about the iPhone 12 if you've got one. Or are you getting one? Are you holding out? Do you want to see more about it? Is there anything about this phone that you want to know that I can test for you? And keep tuned for those other videos as they come along. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.